Okay, so this is part three of our Dreamweaver project that we're working on. And first of all, um, we're going to log into Dreamweaver. Again, on the start menu, I'm going to start typing Dreamweaver. It should pop up. And I'll go ahead and open it up. And at this point, we will take a look at where it says local files to open up our, our files that we've, we've already created last time. If you don't see this local files, you can find it under Window Files, and that will open it up. But since it's there, I'm going to go ahead and click on the first HTML file about me. I'm going to double click, open it up. I'm going to double click on my passion second. I'm going to click on double click on hope. And when I grow up. So at that point, I'm going to have four of my HTML files open. I, I'm not opening up the CSS because we're not going to worry about that today. So on About Me, I have entered in my information for my slides onto this main area. So I've put the, a header about me. As you see, if I click here, you can see it's a heading. And then under my regular writing here is a paragraph. And I just copied and pasted it. If you want to do a little bit of editing, you can grab sections and play with it down here. Like I'm going to make that into bullet points, or if you have bullet points and you want to get rid of them, again, just highlight and click the bullet points. So today we're going to add two things. We're going to add links to our navigation menu, which you, you see on each page is the same. They're all the same. And then I'm also going to add something to the footer. I'm going to use my friend, my friend's uh, website as a, an, a, another example. Again, this is my friend Mike Johnson. He's a, an artist in Austin. And as you can see here on his website, he has a, his navigation menu is at the top. Ours is going to be over here on the left side. So if you click on it, it takes you, you can see the navigation menu on every page, right? So, and then also if you click, scroll down to the very bottom, you will also see that his footer is there. We're going to insert a copyright symbol. We're going to write the, the year and the, our name into our file. So on back in Dreamweaver, the first thing I'm going to do on this page is I'm going to add links. So first of all, I'm just going to write the different names of my pages. So about me, I'm going to add passion or my I'm passionate about. If you mess up something, remember you can just do control Z and it'll back it up. My third one is going to be, I hope to, and four is going to be when I grow up. Okay. So we're on the page called when I grow up, and it doesn't really matter because these are all going to be the same. So whenever I highlight about me, I'm going to go to insert hyperlink because we're going to link the pages together. So the text is already about me. I'm going to click on this little icon for the file. I'm going to find the one that says about me. And if it doesn't show up already, make sure that you're inside your tech apps folder, inside the website folder, and it should be there. About me and OK. OK. So now that's a link. I'm going to do the same thing with passions. Highlight it. Insert. Hyperlink. Click on the file folder here. Make sure passions is picked up. OK. I hope to, same thing, highlight it, insert hyperlink, link on the folder, I hope to, okay, it's, a, it's, a, it's ready to go, and then when I grow up, go ahead and highlight that one, insert hyperlink, link it to, you guessed it, when I grow up, okay. So that's ready to go, this page. We're going to go ahead and add to the footer. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all this text, delete it. I'm going to add a, a copyright symbol. To do that, I'm going to say insert HTML special characters. And I'm just going to in, insert copyright. And there it is. So I'm going to say copyright Mrs. Horvath 2017. And if I'd like, I can center that. The way that I would do that, I would just highlight it all that I want centered. I'm going to go to Format, Align, and I'm going to center it. And so this page is ready to go. 
So what I'm going to do on all the rest of the pages, I'm going to make sure that these are all fi filled out, the, the links and the footer for all of our pages. And at that point, we'll be finished with today.